We are the three people involved in the ra two racist white people in, the, in Arizona. We are the three in the video. Technically, only two of us were the ones that were making racial slurs, and for that, we apologize. We formally, deeply apologize for offending, hurting, and disrespecting uh, not just uh, illegals, not just Mexicans, but people from all over the world. We didn't mean to offend anyone. We didn't know what we were doing. We were poorly influenced, and I know that's not an excuse. Um, being drunk is not an excuse. Uh, it was a year ago, believe it or not, we have changed. Um, we never thought that something like this would go so far. Uh, we were thankful that YouTube banned the video um, the first time. The first time, and and we even took down the account because we, we were so ashamed. We were ashamed. We were disgusted, and we would have never posted something like that if we were sober or if we had known act the actual facts. We were ignorant. We made complete idiots of ourselves in that video, and. We are truly and sincerely sorry for any harm, any offense that we have caused to anyone, especially to the people who were blamed at the school. Falsely accused in uh, Arcadia High School, those girls had nothing to do with the production of our racial video. Um, I feel really bad for them. Uh, when we found out that they canceled their dance and they canceled their pep rally because they were afraid of retaliation, we were so heartbroken for them because that's our fault. That's our mistake that's on there. It's not, it has nothing to do with them. We don't know how they got information on those girls or anything like that. And we are deeply, deeply sorry that it had gone this far and for those families of those girls for the family of the school the students the principal I can't imagine the humiliation and the embarrassment they had to go through uh, it, it's something that we should be held responsible for we are at fault a hundred percent with this video we might not have been the ones that reposted it, but we posted it in the first place, which leaves us at fault 100%. And we take full responsibility for that. We might not be telling you our names or any more information about us, but that's for safety reasons. We're afraid for our lives right now, you know, for threats, and I mean, rightfully so, that because we made threats and we wanted to make it known that we are not racist in any way. We, you know, love every single race. We are not racist. We posted that when we were in a bad place. And neither, nine, none of us is racist at all. Um, I mean, I have, I have friends and part of my family are Mexican. So when they saw that, they were hurt. They were disgraced. And believe me when I say... I broke down and I cried because I didn't think that anybody was going to be able to see that video after I took it down. And it shouldn't have been up in the first place. When I saw it, I cried. Big time. We were shocked when we saw the video again. It, it had been over a year since we saw it. We thought that it disappeared for good and when we saw it, a few days ago, we were heartbroken. I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. I don't even want to get out of bed anymore these days. I can't. Can't go out in public. Can't look at people in the eyes. Have to wear a hat. I have to hide my face. 
But we deserve that. We deserve those punishment because we deserve the humiliation. And I have to confess, I am the one who made the peace profile on Facebook. Uh, I'm the one who made the first YouTube apology without showing my face. And the reason why I didn't want to show my face was because I felt disgusted with myself. I couldn't look at myself. I didn't want to see myself in the camera. I didn't, I didn't, I just felt so disgusting inside. And I'm, I'm still shaking <laughs> behind this camera. I, we all are, we're all shaken up. We had no clue that it even resurfaced until now. When we found out that it resurfaced, we tried everything we could to get it down, you know, that's why we're making this apology, because you guys deserve an apology, for, first of all, and secondly, we're also going to be writing letters to the school, police station, even to newscasts of how sorry we are. I even made it a personal duty for myself that tomorrow morning, myself, I will be talking to the school, the Arcadia School apologize formally over the phone and we want everyone to know that the third person in our video had nothing nothing to do with, it. To do with this she racial video she didn't know what it was even about she just walked in to wave at the camera and left we had no idea that she would even be targeted we were shocked and to see all the pictures up there on web pages and we don't know who was posting those pictures up or how they were able to get the pictures or how they even figured out who we are but either way one of us uh, that waved she had no she didn't if anyone you know was to blame fully it's me because and I'm the me. one I made the most racial comments, I made the most threatening comments, and I take full responsibility for that. I take full responsibility for that as well. I, I, I will not, I will not forget this moment. This was the biggest mistake of our, our lives. lives. We will live with it forever. Our children will probably even see this in our, the future. Our children, our grandchildren, and not just in the U.S., but all of our families from across the world. Families, friends, if we're trying to get a job, that's going to go up there. Well, we're not going to be able to get jobs, probably. And, you know, we don't deserve them. And from viewing the video and from viewing all of your comments, we we feel threatened as you did from watching it and we are in fear in fear of our lives and the purpose of this video was to express our regrets and to deeply apologize I mean we're not expecting forgiveness we're not expecting anything we're just trying to do what's right by apologizing we're not expecting you guys to stop you know posting about the video we're not expecting you guys to take down any pictures of us we're not expecting anything from you guys all we're hoping is that you see that we are truly and deeply sorry for what we did and we wish with all our heart we wish that we could take it back and you know not even go there like that this is our last video that we're ever doing and we pray that you that you forgive us even though we absolutely don't deserve it no one deserves to be judged by the color of their, their skin, skin or their religion. ethnicity religion people who think it's all right just and another thing, we were never raised this way. We, Our parents taught us better. They didn't know about this until we showed them. And, you know, we're surprised that we're not disowned by our own parents. But I'm pretty sure that friends who have seen this 
won't even talk to us anymore, and rightfully so. I've hurt friends, I've hurt friends of the family, so many people that have gotten hurt from this, from that video. And it just makes us feel like, you know, who are we to say that about anybody? We don't deserve kindness, we don't deserve anything. We don't deserve respect for what we did. We don't even deserve respect after making this video. The only thing that we want is for everyone to be good to each other and to make this world peaceful and bright and again I don't know if our apologies will ever be enough for you and it probably won't be enough it will never be enough but we are apologizing because that's the right thing to do. We want to make it right.